So hello everyone, welcome to Christian Dollar Lessons. Today we're going to review Palm West. So the, this device is a palm. Um, uh, I don't know the uh, luckily I don't know the model number, and it is powered by double A batteries. Um, I think you can actually put rechargeable batteries, but in this case it has double A batteries. And so the problem with double A batteries is that if, um, yeah. It's going to actually destroy them. You cannot recharge it. And that means that uh, at one point you will lose all the information. Because it, ha it has 4 megabytes. It actually runs on a RAM chip. I mean, see, and the memory is actually 4 megabytes. So that isn't that much good of amount of memory. But we're going we're gonna to review a, a virtual device. So it actually, uh, luckily, um, Palm it has is not a dairy more device. I mean, see, but... Many of the aesthetics looks are, are quite similar in the in smartphones and tablets. For example, the uh, uh, iPad. Um, it actually has a home button, a sleep uh, button, and this actually has a sleep button and the home button. So this is the home button. So um, yeah, it makes a lot of noises. I mean, let me wake this up, and it works very well. And yeah, so actually, when we go. You can actually move around here. So, it, uh, luckily, because the touchscreen is so bad, um, its impact resistant display. But th because of the the problem with this impact resistant display is that it takes a lot of pressure to to work. I mean, say you just put a little bit of pressure, it would not um, work very well. I mean, for more for extra precision, it comes with a stylus, and it goes in like this. I mean, see, at first it, it looks like it goes in like that, but you can actually make it go in more by just uh, turning it. But there is a way to get it out. But this is actually the tablet itself. So what it has here is a memo pad. Uh, so like you can uh, do memos. But if, uh, first off, there's another feature. Uh, so when we go back home, so th it's called graffiti. So you can try it out. So here, so it actually uses letters, like letter-like symbols. Um, the I mean, see, it depends on your handwriting. My handwriting is not like this, and it would not. Is the the problem with this is that it's not very natural. So. And so we go, we go, we go to previous, and so there is a A B C. There, luckily, there is a keyboard that is quite com <laughs> that is quite comfortable, but it's too tiny, and there is no auto rotation and uh, all that thing. But the graffiti part is also okay. Yeah, but it has a keyboard if necessary, and. Yeah, so for the contrast, I don't remember how to adjust the contrast on this, I think. Well, you c oh yeah, now I remember. So you can adjust the contrast by pressing the contrast button and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to just uh, uh, go home. So there, there is security. Uh, you can add a password to it, but this is uh, because um, this is for people who are um, businesses, because, uh, and this is quite normal. Um, so there is a notepad. I I I want to like erase the original one, but you can write. So and so the oh yeah, so the problem with this is that because it has impact resistant display, it's very difficult to write. And even okay, it is very difficult to write. And the refresh rate is quite quite low, so there is a whole lot of lag. Okay, let me delete it. So there is a whole lot of lag because the refresh rate is low. Let me um, fix the contrast for you, the, you uh, humble viewers. So uh, yeah, so and also sorry for the display, uh, it's not very good either. It has a very low refresh rate. So yeah, um, so actually, the, so yeah, so this this part uh, here uh, could be used as a screwdriver apparently. So it can take apart the whole pen. Um, and you, the back could come out also, but I don't recommend you doing this because if you remove the back, you can't get your pen out because that's quite obvious because it has a way, it, it, it's very difficult to get out. You might destroy it. So I don't really recommend you doing that. So let me, that's the problem. Yeah, done. This, yeah, this is the problem with this. But the display is very bad, but I may say Kindle, if you use Kindle, also that has a lower refresh rate. But this is um, probably this is not a Kindle e-paper display. This is, is is a normal display, so it doesn't have very good backlight, nor either. Uh, 
those. Um, you can use the memo pad. If you are not good, don't have a hair, good handwriting, uh, like this. Uh, for actually doing this, you can just use these. Uh, this is actually quite similar to the iPad, um, but it's much more difficult because uh, you can still use the gestures. But I'm going to go home. Uh, home. So, yeah, it has a, an address book, a calculator. The iPad doesn't come with a calculator, but the iPhone does, and it might fix the contracts here because I can't see anything. Okay. You can adjust the contrast. But this has a color display. And the main advantage of this is that when you go to sleep, nothing disappears. Like when you, when you wake up, wakes up immediately. That's quite similar on the iPad. This. This. You can actually restore. Um, yeah, so it actually it does save information, but it doesn't say it's, it's not a multitasking OS. So there, there, there are, you cannot exactly keep multiple the windows open. I mean, no, actually, this is a multitasking OS, but actually, and that may reason you can't actually keep multiple windows open because it actually saved all my settings here. Uh, let me say, if you think this is not a multitasking OS, it is because it actually kept all my windows open. It didn't just uh, just completely cleaned up the windows. That's a great thing, but. I mean, see, it actually works so well, this OS, but, yeah, there are main drawbacks. Like, you cannot connect it to the web with this, uh, because Wi-Fi was particularly new. Also, uh, with this OS, you can actually, um, um, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, I mean, you can connect this to your computer. Um, apparently, this has an SD card reader, and I don't know where it is, so um, just tell me if you are a Palm expert. Because I don't know where is SD card reader, even though it has card info. So it, it has this feature. Um, it has time. This is the lock screen. <laughs> you can call that a lock screen. Is the clock, and that is so. That's the same thing in the iPad. The uh, the famous. Uh, I mean, see, that's almost a similar thing to the iPad. Um, uh, yeah. So actually, yeah. So yeah, this is my so. <laughs> Um, well, actually, it's a similar thing to the iPad and the lock screen, the famous one lock screen, so you can customize it. So, yeah, and it has a clock, calculator, and memo pad, deep book, a lot of stuff. And this is a very old device, and yeah, you should not remove the batteries. So, this is good stuff. Uh, so, I mean, say, before that, yeah, this is this is there's a waffle cup screen for calibration. It, it, I don't know. I, I should not have gone to it, but you have to calibrate this because, uh, uh, because, uh, um, because of the bad display of it. So actually, yeah. So this is this is our lessons. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my last video and like this video. Share this video with other friends on the internet. So check out my Twitter account at Christian So this is Christian lessons. So thank you for watching this video. Bye. Okay, show. You can see this on Instagram, Facebook photos, but this is how I would do it. Yeah, so actually, this is how the image.